Hello children, how are you all? I hope you all are doing well. Now today I am going to start transportation of food and minerals in plants. As you all have studied about the uh, xylem and phloem in the previous year, that is in 7th standard, you have studied about the conducting tissues called the xylem and phloem. As you can see here in the picture, here it is microscopic image and here is diagrammatic representation. Under the microscope, you will see the xylem structure and it is the tissue which is formed from the four kind of cells. Whereas the another one is beside it, there is the phloem tissues. This is also a microscopic image and uh, it is the diagrammatic image that means uh, this for phloem also is made up of four kinds of cells. In the previous 7th uh, um, standard, you have already studied about the function and the uh, structure. Xylem conducts water and phloem conducts food. That is called the translocation. In the another picture also, you can see very clearly transpiration of water is here through the xylem vessels. Okay, And here, the phloem vessels are there which will do the transportation or you can say translocation of the food. Food is in the form of sucrose over here. There are the sieve cells okay, and they are forming sieve tubes and this sideways is the companion cells. Okay, So this structure already you know about this. Here in xylem there, are, uh, um, there is only one living cell and rest all are the dead ones and they make the column. Okay, a pipe kind of structure and which takes the water from bottom to the top of the tree. Similarly, the phloem is here. Here they, all, here they also make the column and they translocate the food from leaves to different parts of the plants. Now here in the picture, you can see that this is the structure of root here, which is given in your book. Okay, this is a single cell structure in which nucleus is there and this is the vacuole which is having the uh, liquid part and this cytoplasm is there then cell membrane is surrounding it this is a semi permeable membrane okay it's a semi permeable membrane that means it allows the solvent particles to move inside but does not allow the um, solvent particles to move outside that means the water molecules okay this is the cell wall and this is the epidermal cell here concentrated cell sap. Cell sap is the liquid of the uh, liquid inside the vacuole. Cell sap basically it is a water when, when it is outside the uh, plant they, that will be known as simple water but as it will go inside it will be absorbed it will change into cell sap because along with that so many minerals will be also involved. Here you can see a small structure is shown that is a new root here growing from the epidermal cell. Epidermal uh, uh, that you know that it is the outer layer that is the uh, epidermal layer is there. Okay, outer layer. So this is present on the outer uh, circle of the uh, root. Okay, so from there the outer range whatever is there cell arrange here. From there only the root comes out. It does not come out from the middle of the root. Okay, that means from inside it will not come out. See here, the root hairs are there and very minutely it can be seen under the microscope. And this one does the work of absorption. Another picture also you can see that here the root hair is there and it is embedded inside the soil particles in between the soil particles and water and mineral ions are absorbed slowly and gradually. Okay, So here you see this through the semi permeable membrane it is going inside. Okay, So this is the structure of the root hair. Now another thing here you can see how they are able to absorb the root, absorb the water. Okay, root hairs are able to absorb lots of water. The reason I am going to tell you here how are root hairs adapted for absorption. Okay, see this portion you can see here yeah, this plant is planted over here and the roots are spread, root hairs are coming out. As the roots are spread, so root hairs will be also present on it. So here you can see the 
माइक्रोस्कोपिक अरेंजमेंट और यू कैन सी इट इन अ ब्रॉड वे दिस इज द रूट हेयर विच इज इन बिटवीन द सॉइल पार्टिकल्स सो एज यू सी वॉट दे आर डूइंग रूट हेयर्स आर लॉन्ग एंड प्रोवाइड अ लार्ज सर्फिस एरिया एंड दे हैव अ थिन सेल वॉल सो बोथ रीजन्स आर देयर फॉर एब्जॉर्विंग द वॉटर मोर एंड मोर फ्रॉम द सॉइल how see if see if you see this region this region is having very less surface area so they will absorb water from up to here okay uh, this portion is there whatever water molecules will be there that will be absorbed only of this area but if the root here is present then you can see that it is going it is extending to some more portion okay in between the soil so uh, here you can see here was, was very less uh, um, surface and here you can see the surface has been increased just because of the root hair presence of root hair will help to absorb more and more water from the soil and it has a thin cell uh, cell wall so what it will do the water molecules the uh, air the everything will get diffuse inside very easily now see in the another picture uh, more extended one up to the xylem and phloem how it reaches up to the xylem and phloem see you can uh, see here the root hair is there and it will absorb the uh, water minerals from the soil okay and this is the epidermis now main root comes it will start from here and then you see how the water is moving inside cell by cell cell by cell and then it is reaching to the xylem tissues okay so this is the path of uh, absorbing the water through the root okay it is going inside so this is the path of absorb water through root cortex to the xylem vessel this is this is the cortex and this is the xylem vessel so up to here when it reaches then it will start uh, conducting the water from bottom to the top of the tree now children the question arises here that how the water and minerals and the gases used to go inside okay so here the question is there that they will go in a molecular form okay that means the water molecules will move the gases molecules will move and the minerals molecules will move okay but the processes will be of three kinds that means the movement of molecules inside the plant will be in three ways or you can say the methods of absorption so here you can see that the root hairs absorb water by uh, diffusion there are basically three methods diffusion osmosis or you can say facilitated diffusion and the third one is the active transport okay now here you see the difference between all the three and what molecules they do uh, they um, pass on first thing is the diffusion diffusion is the movement of molecules from higher concentration to the lower concentration okay this is the simple mixing of the molecules just like the sugar sugar solution if you are making so what happens the sugar get dissolved inside okay so it what it uh, what it does it just diffuses the molecules get diffuses it between the water molecule so this is the simple one that is the simple diffusion and simple movement through this diffusion process water mineral and gases that means liquid solid and the gases all molecules all kinds of molecules can move okay from where to where from higher concentration to the lower concentration higher concentration here they see more molecules are there and they will move towards where the low concentration will be there now another is the osmosis osmosis in that that is a facilitated diffusion also and both are known as the passive transport okay so here you can see that the molecules will move one thing only the solvent molecules will move solvent molecules means liquid not the uh, this one gases nor the minerals so 
they will also move from higher concentration to the lower concentration okay but the re reason is what one more uh, condition you can say that is the semi permeable membrane this is the semi permeable membrane is required for the osmosis process okay this semi permeable membrane will only allow the solvent molecules that is the liquid molecules to enter inside and does not allow them to go outside so they are the semi permeable membrane they will allow only the selected particles to move inside the root then another the third one is the transport one more thing i want to tell you when the water moves from one cell to another that is with the help of osmosis only because in every cell there will be semi permeable membrane plasma membrane works as a semi permeable membrane and the water goes inside through the semi permeable membrane okay so that is when the water has to move from cell to cell then it will go through the process of osmosis now the third one is that that is the active transport active transport that is the movement of molecules notice this thing movement of molecules which kind of molecules solid molecules the mineral molecules another the condition is what from lower concentration to the higher concentration from lower concentration to the higher concentration by using the energy in the form of atp okay adp full form is adenosine triphosphate okay so active transport they need some energy as the word says active transport so they need more energy why because they have to move from a lower concentration to the higher concentration okay so this is called the active transport and minerals move with the help of active transport inside the plant okay so this diffusion and osmosis and the active transport whereas this diffusion and osmosis or facilitated diffusion will be known as a passive transport whereas this one the third one is the active transport as you see this picture again uh, here this uh, water is moving from one cell to another with the help of osmosis only that means only they have to the solvent molecules will move and that is through the semi permeable membrane now children the third uh, step is what that is the ascent of sap that means how the uh, water or the ascent of sap will be done that is the conduction of water how the water moves from the root to the leaves now as we have studied about uh, the previous one how the molecules are moving inside the root okay now here how it moves inside the whole plant so first thing he here you see when the root will start absorbing water root hairs will start absorbing water from the soil then what happens this root pressure will be developed okay this root pressure will be developed from here why because continuous there will be absorption so a kind of pressure will be from the roots so this is called the root pressure uh, basically it provides the initial push up Uh, to the water molecules in the xylem okay initial push up uh, starting one okay now as the water moves up then it reaches to the xylem column okay as you uh, are very well knowing about the structure of the xylem so here the tubes are there xylem tubes xylem vessels are there which carry water and dissolve minerals now when this xylem vessel is taking the water inside then there will be one force working on it from outside that is the capillary force capillary force will work from outside how because it is already very thin xylem vessels are very thin column like structures so they need sideways pressure and in that way the water rises up okay and when it moves up then here is another force working on it and that is called the transpiration pull transpiration 
that is the evaporation of water from leaves okay so there also in the next section we will study about the transpiration and then we'll come to know that how the transpiration pull is there which is helping the in the ascent of sap but here you see there are three kinds of forces are working over here one is from outside that is it is dragging water outside that is called the transpiration pull another is the capillary force which is giving sideways force on the vessels xylem vessels and from here you see the root pressure that is the initial push up okay so all these three when they together work then only the water will rise up okay from bottom to the top of the tree or up to the leaves and from the leaves it is going out now when the water is going then it will carry the minerals also okay so this a because they all the work uh, the water has to go against the gravity that's why these all pressures are working forces are working over it and then the water is moving up and it is reaching till the leaves now another picture from your book it is shown over here that absorption of water by root hairs here the process all together i can uh, tell you again that uh, absorption of water by root hair and second is the cell to cell movement of water through cortex of root and the third one is the ascent of sap or conduction of water through the stem to the leaves so here also the diagrammatic representation is uh, shown over here that is the epidermis epidermis that is the outer layer okay so uh, this epidermis is here the first first stage stage is here that is the absorption of water by the root hairs soil particles are there already i have told you then the water goes inside the root cortex okay and that is called the cell to cell osmosis and then it moves through the xylem vessel that is a xylem column there the ascent of sap or conduction of water will be there along with the three forces that is the root pressure capillary force and the transpiration pull and as the water reaches out here only the root pressure from downward and in between there will be the capillary force and then here when it comes out from the leaf stomata here you can see the upper portion and this is the below portion of the leaf okay below is having lots of stomata so through that the water comes out so this is the process absorption of water by root hairs cell to cell movement of water through cortex of root ascent of sap or conduction of water through the stem now children uh, this was about, about the xylem tissues and how the conduction of water takes place now another is the food okay how the prepared food reaches into the uh, plant and it goes from the leaves that you know that leaves prepare the food so from there how it goes to different parts of the plant that is the phloem tissue they carry food up uh, from leaves okay upside and this downside okay both ways they uh, go that means here the xylem vessels are carrying the water in one way only okay whereas in phloem the there will be two way uh, conduction or translocation of food because your leaf will prepare and the root also need the food and uh, stem and the upper portion of the branches and all they all need food so it will go in both direction from here you see it goes up and here you see the arrow is downward so it will go down down ways to the roots and the down portion down stem so my dear children this was all about the ascent of sap or conduction of water into the plants and also the translocation of the food uh, um, inside the plants from leaf to every part of the plant body so students hope you all have understood the topics if you have any doubt or question you can ask in the comment section below and the remaining topics will be covered in the next videos please like share it with your classmates subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get my latest updates thank you and take care